In this video we will review the Simbin's Picasso Tab X11 Android drawing tablet. You can find it on Amazon as well. The bottom line up front is that for drawing purposes, the pen supports tilt pressure sensitivity and palm rejection. However, palm rejection doesn't work consistently, which can be quite annoying. The pen and tablet can be used for drawing, but the pen is not as sensitive compared to pens from iPads or Samsung tablets. The tablet is powerful enough for drawing purposes, so you may need to close some apps, as this tablet only has 6GB of RAM. The Picasso Tab X11 comes with several items in the box, including the tablet, a pen with battery inside, a SIM ejection tool, because the tablet has a Micrist card slot, a flip case cover, an artist glove, a charger with interchangeable plugs, a USB-C to USB-C charging cable, a user guide, and warranty info. The tablet comes with a one-year warranty and a promo code for the concept sketching app which is actually one of my favorite sketching apps on tablets. The display of this tablet is not bright enough if you have to use it outdoors under bright conditions. There is a matte textured screen protector on the display, which is on the smoother side, so it doesn't diffuse light much, but is very glaring if there is a strong light source. This tablet is best used indoors. The build quality is solid enough, even though the body is made of plastic. The back has a matte textured surface with some grip on the left and right sides. There is one camera at the back, with the power and volume buttons located at the top. There are bumpers at the corners, a front-facing camera, but no fingerprint or face unlock. The Micrist card slot and USB-C charging port with USB 2.0 transfer speeds are present. The tablet has four speakers with loud enough volume, though the audio quality is slightly hollow. The flip case, which feels cheap but well-made provides good protection for the tablet and has an auto-wake and sleep feature. The resolution is 2000 x 1200 on an 11-inch display, making the visuals sharp with a 60 Hz refresh rate. Viewing angles show a noticeable drop in brightness from an angle so the best visual quality is when viewed straight on. The matte textured screen protector doesn't affect image quality much, but the pen glides more freely on it. The tablet runs on Android 13, which is quite stable with minimal bloatware. The pre-installed apps include Infinite Painter and Concepts. The tablet uses the MediaTek MT8183 processor, which is powerful enough for drawing purposes. With 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage, expandable via the Micrist card slot. Overall performance is smooth, though there will be occasional lag with too many apps open. The Picasso Pen 3, included in the box, has a solid build quality, likely made of metal, with a matte texture and good weight. There are no side buttons or an eraser at the back. It is powered by battery, with one extra battery included. The pen supports palm rejection and over 4,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. The pen tip is made of plastic with minimal movement when in contact with the drawing surface, but no extra pen tip is included. Testing the pen on the Metabang Paint app, writing shows noticeable latency, and drawing thin lines can show some wobble or jitter with slow diagonal lines. However, transition from thin to thick lines is decent. There's no global customization for pressure sensitivity, so customization relies on the drawing app used. Palm rejection issues mean it's best to wear the artist glove to avoid accidental gestures. Sketching with the tablet shows that it is light enough to hold and draw while standing, but weight can become an issue for long periods. Drawing fast reveals latency, but pressure lines look acceptable. For serious drawing, other tablets with better pen performance and palm rejection are recommended, but this tablet works fine for beginners. Battery life is around 6 to 7 hours, depending on usage and auto brightness, but charging is slow. To conclude, this tablet can be used for drawing, but has some downsides and limitations affecting the user experience, especially palm rejection. Wearing the artist glove is necessary to avoid accidental gestures. The hardware is decent for a tablet under $250 but managing expectations is important. If you want a better tablet, be prepared to spend more money. That's it for this review. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you're interested in buying this tablet, check out the affiliate links in the video description. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye!